Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, yeah, so we got an update. And it's been a little while since the update came out. And I'm a little late releasing this video. And I've been kind of late on every single one of the update videos. But yeah, we got some new stuff. I am not 100% sure what all of this stuff is. I read some of the... Uh, what is it, the patch notes, the, the release update, and all that good stuff. And I just haven't been able to figure out every single thing that was added, so I might end up forgetting a few things. Most of this stuff, I will say, wasn't really, as far as parts, it really wasn't anything involving parts 100%. There were a few minor things added to the parts list, which I am going to talk about in a second. Let me find a fuel tank. There we go. So, it looks like we got... What is that? What is that? I, I don't like that. What is that? I guess that, I think that's for the flag. Yeah, I don't have my flag set up just yet. Oh, it shows, I believe, what is... Oh, that's the amount of money. This is the amount of money that it will cost. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, we got a new engine, which I... I guess a radial mount engine. I did not really look into this very much, so forgive me. Oh, this is the monopropellant engine. I forget. Yes, yeah, so we had a monopropellant engine. <sighs> I, I don't really care about these things. I, not that like it, I'm, you know, trying to sound stuck up or anything, but I really don't care about a monopropellant engine, at least for right now. And it looks like they organized the parts a little bit, which I am very happy about somewhat uh yeah and then we got this guy which the Werner engine and this runs oh, okay i don't know why this is in control but okay we can we can throw a couple of these guys on there i don't know what this is exactly what it entails um okay i i whatever that, that, that's fine I guess this would probably be really good for um, if you build like a shuttle or something. I don't know, but we'll see. So what else do we have? I believe there's some science modules that were added as well. No, I guess not. I, I really don't know. I, I, I hate to sound like I don't know, but this is actually my first look at what new parts were added. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of dragging this out a little bit longer than I should. But it doesn't seem like we got very much in the way of parts, which isn't a bad thing. I'm, I'm not complaining, but man, that is expensive for just this little guy. I guess it's because he's monopropellant engines. Yeah, yeah, that, that was definitely it. And this guy. Get rid of this, and we'll slap on a regular engine and just see how much that costs. Let's see, I believe this is the first one that you actually get. Or no, the one that gives you 215. Where is that guy? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Overall, it's not that bad. That's not that much money, I guess, in, in Kerbal money. But, yeah, so we got this new guy, too. And I'm not 100% certain when that does. I, I hate to just be like, I don't know what this does. And I don't know what this does. But we're going to take a jump over into our career mode to take a look at a few things. Yeah, and... It looks like, the, the one thing I forgot to mention too is now everything is kind of in real time where the VAB and all that stuff kind of wasn't in real time at one point. So now everything is kind of just, you can time warp from the space center and all that good stuff. And you can even watch the moon. You can just sit there and watch the moon all day indefinitely. The one thing I will say that they need to add is the ability to see the other planets. I don't know if you can actually see any of the other planets move or anything like that. I do know that there are some mods where you can see that, but... Oh! We did not want to go here. There we go. Uh, I know there are a couple mods where you can actually... It's like a telescope kind of mod where you can look at the other stars and all that good stuff. But as far as I know that they have added missions and um, some of the new technology stuff has kind of changed... And the ability to unlock certain things. I am not 100% certain because I don't follow everything. But we do have our mission control now. 
And some of the things that we need to do, plant a flag on Minmus on the moon. And it, now we actually have missions, like actual missions to do. Whereas before it was just kind of like do whatever you can. So it looks like a lot of these are for the for Eve. Um, test the Kerbal Vine engines, stack separator. Um, yeah, this is a lot of... I don't know what this star system is, basically. I, I have no idea. I think that might be your science, or maybe something reward. I'm going to have to figure out what this whole science thing is. But we have no real active missions in the archives or anything like that. I will probably start on some of the missions here at some point soon. But it looks like oh, there's failures and... Um, all kinds of stuff. This is actually really cool. And there, there's a lot of different kinds of things you can take up and do. Which, it, it looks like there's a lot... Of, uh, you have, like, you can basically accept all of these, and then they have a long duration. So you can kind of complete them as you go. Like, planting a flag on Eve, you have 22 years for the mission to be done. Which... Isn't that bad where the actual offer expires in a few days? So I would guess that you would probably just accept a whole bunch of these and just accept them all at once. We have no contracts open. I'm not sure what this I think this is the science experiments and stuff like that, which I think we'll jump to our Minmus station here real quick. Now, I know the station doesn't look like a lot, but what is this? I don't know exactly all this stuff. I know there are other people out there already who understand and know pretty well what all this stuff is, and I hate to say I don't know about certain things, but let's just see if, um, I think this has to do with data that you have to transmit, so if I keep the data, let's, I, no, that doesn't do anything, so, um, yeah, I, I, I really don't know everything. I was even contemplating whether or not I was going to do a video as far as the update. I've been doing them ever since, uh, what is it, point eighteen. So I just kind of figured I'm going to do this. I apologize if you were really looking for a lot of substance and views into, or, you know, my own personal opinions or explanations on a lot of these things. I will give them as soon as I know. So, once again, I do apologize, but anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to you. New people, welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.